President Biden kicked off his three-nation trip to Europe today with a stop in London this morning, meeting with King Charles III and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. But dominating this trip, uh, President Biden expected to rally support for Ukraine in the war with Russia while facing pushback from allies over the U.S. decision to send cluster munitions to Ukraine. ABC's M. Wynn is live in Washington with the story. M. Sandra, the administration says this trip will showcase the president's leadership on the world stage, where Biden will address several major issues, including whether Ukraine should be able to join NATO. This morning, President Joe Biden meeting first with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak in London, ahead of a key NATO summit in Lithuania. Our relationship is rock solid. Then welcomed by King Charles III at Windsor Castle, it's Biden's first meeting with Charles since his coronation. The two world leaders holding discussions with investors who share their vow to strengthen their commitments to climate action. But dominating this high stakes trip to Europe, the question of whether Ukraine can join NATO, with the alliance divided and Biden insisting Ukraine is not ready to join while at war with Russia. I don't think there is unanimity in NATO about whether or not to bring Ukraine into the NATO family now, at this moment, in the middle of a war. This comes as Biden is likely to face questions over the U.S.'s approval to send Ukraine cluster munitions, a controversial weapon meant to rain down smaller explosives, banned in more than 120 nations, including two-thirds of NATO members, because of its record to cause indiscriminate civilian casualties. Ukraine has given the administration written assurances that it will use the munitions in a way to minimize the exposure to civilians. The White House has defended its decision. This is literally a gunfight. They're running out of inventory. And as Turkey and Hungary continue to block Sweden from joining NATO, which needs unanimous authorization, the U.S. president is expected to push hard for a deal this week. Today, Turkish President Erdogan suggested he would approve Sweden's NATO bid if Turkey is allowed to join the European Union.